Prince Cheers. Charles enjoys a vodka tipple during a visit to the Ramsbury Distillery in Wiltshire. Prince Charles enjoyed a festive tipple on Friday as he enjoyed a tour of distillery in Wiltshire. The Prince of Wales could be seen sampling the vodka and gin produced at the Ramsbury Distillery on the Ramsbury Estate this morning. Wrapped up in a camel coat, the 69-year-old appeared to be in high spirits as he took a sip of the bespoke vodka. The distillery produces all of its vodka and gin from scratch as part of the farm in Marlborough and the royal certainly seemed to approve of the produce. The Ramsbury Estate is where the wheat is grown for the distillery and is part of a wider 19,000 acres of land in Wiltshire, Berkshire, and Hampshire. The Prince is patron of the Prince's Countryside Fund founded in 2010 and provides up to £1.2 million in grants to British farmers across the countryside. Charles was also given a tour of the distillery itself where he could be seen admiring the machinery used to produce the spirits. Following his boozy morning Charles headed to a local school where he met pupils who came out in their droves to welcome the royal. The school children could be seen waving Union Jacks in preparation of Charles' arrival much to the prince's amusement. Charles could be seen getting stuck in with gardening project being undertaken by the school children. The prince later attended a reception for the estate's tenants where he may be able to enjoy yet another tipple as it was held at the Bell Pub. Elsewhere, Charles's youngest Prince Harry has announced the date of his wedding to Meghan Markle. The couple will marry on May 19 at Windsor Castle and have gone against royal tradition by choosing to wed on a Saturday, it was revealed today. Football fans are bemused because they have chosen to walk down the aisle on FA Cup final day even though Harry's best man Prince William is FA president and usually presents its famous trophy to the winners. But crucially May 19 ensures that their wedding will not overshadow the birth of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's third child in April and allow her the time to recover.